Well, this is the one. 86 rune crafting. Time to go complete that Karamja diary and think about things. Think about d killing black knights and doing barbarian assault. Let me show you the final count of blood runes here. I had about 10,000 in the bank, so I left those in there. So the actual number of what I crafted is slightly different, but this is more or less what it is. We're at 71,500. Hell yeah. Okay, this is my plan to avoid any of that BS that happened to me last time I was doing a rune crafting boost. I'm gonna go to Zora. I'm gonna get venomed. I'm gonna run to the altar and die with my essence. And then I'm gonna bring my stew stuff back to the altar. How about that? I already got venomed by one of the little snakes, and then when I went to my house and went to the nature, whatever, the Taibo Wanai, my venom was gone, and I didn't do anything. So I don't know what's up with that. Doesn't seem right. Instead, use a rock cake and cook this carambuan poorly, and use the carambuan to deal five damage to me and kill me. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Guzzle away, guzzle away. Come on, come on. Alright. Kill me! I wanna die! No! It didn't kill me! <laughs> I just wanna die! Okay, new strategy. I'm gonna heal up so I don't die instantly from this. And I'm gonna go to Tavalry, and I'm gonna go use the level 81 or whatever shortcut to the poison spiders to get poison. I'm gonna get poisoned, and then I'm gonna go to the altar. I'm gonna get poisoned from these guys, and hopefully it works. If I, if you can't get poisoned and do this death thing that I'm trying to do, it's fine. I'll just, you know, do it how I did before, except with more finesse because I've have sort of figured that out now. But uh, Jesus, man, this is this is frustrating. So let's go to house. <clears throat> Let's see, will it work? Okay, so I'm still poisoned. And now I'm not poisoned anymore! What the heck, man? How? How is this happening to me? It's like they know what I'm trying to do and they don't want me to do it. The, uh, uh, I want to be poisoned. Apparently just going through a dang fairy ring gets rid of your poison. Who, when it, when it, why? Why is it like that? Okay, surely this poison, this guy will poison me. Surely he will. Right? Yes. Okay. So far so good. I'm still poisoned. And here's the altar. Yes. Okay. I think it's working. Now, guzzle. Yes. Yes. Click faster. Click faster. I need... Alright, I should die from this. Come on. Come on! This would just make life easier. Yes! Why did I drop the stuff right on top of the essence? Yes! Oh! Oh, yes! We did it. I did it. It's been done. Whoever did it, it's been done. Oh! Man, that gets me, that gets me jazzed up, man. All right, Karamja Elite completed. I've done all of the tasks. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that plus one melee strength on him. That's funny. Sweet. Okay. And I'll verify that, okay, this goes in herb lore, of course. Bars. Bars are dropped as items. Drop them as banknotes, please. With Bert, he just automatically assumes that you want your sand delivered to the bank. Like, when I went to go talk to him after I did the diary, he was like, he said he was already doing it. But this guy, he actually had to switch the the bar f as notes feature on. Mmm, really riveting stuff. If you equip ones that aren't part of the set, you look like a total dingus. When I was exploring around a while ago, I noticed there was a triple iron spot here. Now I could do this in the mining guild, but sometimes it's hard to find a spot there, and 
uh, since I'm mining iron, I feel like it's just going to be marginal gain, marginal difference in XP anyway. So I just don't think I'm ever going to find anyone here. I'm going to do this. Be <clears throat> it's not really the Iron Man thing to do to power mine stats sometimes, at least not in my usual ethic, but I'm so close to this mining level after doing all that rune essence that I want to just knock it out ASAP so I can get 2100 total. Now I think blast mining would have been faster for this little chunk, but can't be bothered. 91 mining, not a fancy level. I don't mind. The main attraction here is 2100 total. Stunning. Just stunning. I, I'm really happy about that. I I hadn't really been thinking about it that much in the course of getting my elite diary requirements, but finishing 86 just put me 86 runecrafting just put me so close I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist getting it. So on to my last two tasks then. So 1,300 kills are needed for this. I, I'm over 700 now, I believe, or somewhere around there. I wanted to see how many I could get in an hour of paying attention, and I got, you know, granted my attention did waver some, so it wasn't completely accurate, but I did get over 500 in one hour. So that puts me at, say, three hours conservatively of doing this, and three hours total doing this conservatively. Now I only have like an hour and less than an hour and a half left probably. Uh, the most common way of doing this is to bring a cannon and use a spot in one of these rooms. I forgot exactly where it is, but <clears throat> you basically save spot with the cannon and shoot over some chairs. That's stuff. And you can finish in about two hours versus three hours. And that's cool. I don't have any cannonballs, otherwise I would have brought the cannon. And I considered the time that it would take to get the iron, make the steel bars, make the cannonballs. <clears throat> it's possible that I could have saved some time, but I I don't think it's likely. Yeah, it didn't seem worth it to me to go through the hassle of getting cannonballs. I did run the DPS chart on Void versus Dragonhide with like an Archer Helm, and Void was uh, maybe like 10% better. Um, Really the big thing is that the max hit is so much higher, which means that I have a higher likelihood of two-shotting these guys, which, awesome, you know. It's pretty marginal, honestly, but this just calculated just a little bit quicker, so that's what I'm going with, and seems to be going by just fine. I'm just going to stay here and do this all in one trip, because I'm almost done. I'm getting lost in this castle, man. I don't... Uh... Very best equipment. Thank you very much. Is that it? That's the elite task for Falador. Let's see how this... Th I, oh, I can get the whole set, man. Look at that helmet. This is high fashion. Now, the Falador shield, I can get some better... I have a better chance of getting some ore in another load mine. Oh, Falador tree doesn't get diseased. And I can recharge my prayer twice, prayer twice a day. That's that's it. Still awesome. Not not that exciting of rewards, but still awesome. Oh, we officially have one task left for the diary cape. That this thing does look pretty good, though. Not gonna lie, check that out. I realize I haven't really been recording much. Uh, doing barbarian assault. It's really just kind of, I'm really just kind of going at it, just grinding through it. Had a few clutch moments, but it really has not been worth me sort of, you know, losing focus. I'm just, just powering. Just powering through, you know? Powering through. I have attacker done, healer done, and I'm almost done with collector. I haven't started defender yet. Yep. All right, here's my third level five. Whew. They are not going to like me, but I have to. Oh, look at that 499, man. This should be the task there. Elite task in the Kandoran area. I've completed all the elite tasks in the Kandoran area. Let's go talk to the Wedge. I just gotta get this headgear. Look at that. Can I get some more? Yeah, just load me up on it, son. I Oh, just load me up on it. Boom, baby. Look at that. Full elite achievement gear. 
spin that on her blower real quick. Wow, looking to the nines, to the nines, the T's. Read the text here. Can I get a cape like yours? Need 99k. Okay, fair enough. Cape and hood. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh okay, okay. Let me trim my quest point cape. Yeah, yeah, like that. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Emote time. That is huge. Look, there's a little duck and a bat. The magic carpet, anvil, some guy, a balloon. What is this huge emote? And a dragon at the end? Huge. Huge emote. It's so ridiculous. I really don't have a lot of green stuff. Oh, no. I legitimately don't know what to wear, man. I'm a total noob. This is my busted ass achievement diary cape fashion game. I got the pegs. I got no necklace. I got magic secateurs, even though I'm not farming. In that Addy Kite T, babe. What up, pimp? I got that hat, that angler hat, man. I got everything going on. I got all sorts of stuff going on, man. Shoot. Man, that really does look crisp. Really looks crisp. All that green. Jeez, man. Let me be clear about the Kandarin Elite Diaries. I need to read it for myself, even. 15% higher yield from Catherby Patch. 200 coal in the coal trust. Trucks is put in the bank. That's garbage. Flax to bowstrings. Battle staves to Mystic, I think, for less. And the headpiece teleports to Sherlock Unlimited times which that i guess that's probably the main benefit of it is being able to tell you to sherlock whenever you want base 90s was my goal for the past couple months or so and i think during the time i was mining i it really dawned on me how close i was to all of the achievement diary requirements so i decided to go for that instead of just staying true to the base 90s and I'm really glad I did it. I I do like skilling a lot, and it gave me an opportunity to do that in a couple places where I wasn't gonna do it. I got to do a little extra thieving and fishing, but really getting the diary cape on the the way to base 90s. Base 90s doesn't really even seem that crazy compared to the achievement diary cape, even though probably time involved. Base 90s takes takes quite a bit more time. I don't know. It, it is a sh just a ton of time, which is kind of, you know, you get mixed feelings about spending so much time doing something, but I really, I do feel like I achieved something. I do indeed. On to the next chapter then. guys you've heard me say it before but I don't like to release a video unless I'm actively playing and I needed to take a break after working on that cape so I'm back online and really hope you enjoyed it thanks again for watching guys